It's NBC 26 Cares Now, and for one person, the question was, why did life continue? A Fox Cities woman nearly died in a car crash, and she says she actually wondered during that recovery why she was still alive. Well, now years later, she says she found the answer. Stacey Engelbretson has her story, and tonight's NBC 26 Cares. After she recovered from the 2005 crash, Betsy Rokabinski began volunteering, working with cancer patients suffering hair loss from chemotherapy. Now, the owner of Nava Salon and Spa in Appleton is realizing her dream of starting her own nonprofit. She named it Peaceful Purpose. I found my passion, I found my purpose, why I'm here. Betsy and her organization help people suffering from all types of medical hair loss. So many women feel like when they lose their hair, they lose their identity. You're looking at yourself in the mirror and you feel like you're looking at a stranger. Gretchen Miller developed oh, yeah. alopecia after contracting Lyme disease from a tick bite. I would plan on going to the grocery store at 11 or 11.30 at night just so I wouldn't run into anybody and they would possibly see me. Um, I, you know, and at first I was so uncomfortable in my wigs and I just thought everybody was staring at me. Gretchen says she struggled to find resources in the area for those with alopecia. It felt really isolating. Um, it, you know, it just felt like there was nobody else that really understood. But then she found peaceful purpose. There's tabs on the side of the wig and you want to make sure those are near your temple area. The organization offers free or low cost wigs. Having a place where I can come out and try different styles on was so important. As well as hats, scars, head shavings, haircuts and wig styling to those with medical hair loss. My insurance does not cover anything for wigs, so everything comes out of pocket. And wigs can cost anywhere from, um, you know, a decent wig can cost anywhere from 200 to $2,000. Besides easing the financial burden, Gretchen says with the emotional support from Betsy and Peaceful Purpose, she found the courage to share her secret posting a photo of herself without her wig on social media. To be able to get to that has been so freeing. I think it's really important to uh, make them feel good about themselves. With her newfound confidence, Gretchen is now sharing her knowledge. And the other things that um, we can help with is teaching how to uh, maintain and care for the wig. And her emotional journey with Betsy's clients, giving them hope by helping them feel beautiful again and inspiring them to also spread their wings. I found peace in my purpose with Peaceful Purpose. When we can all come together to um, for a greater cause, I think that's, at the end of the day, that's what life's about. Sometimes I like to come in and just try and ball out. <laughs> Peaceful Purpose also offers massage, microblading, eyelashes, makeup, and skin care advice. To learn more, including how to donate to the cause, go to NBC26.com. Stacey Engebretson, NBC26. Looking in the mirror at the hair shop and finding a smile.